Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I will show you Google's massive update, Gemini Come to Workspace. Today marks the official debut of Google Gemini. Gemini provides two plans tailored to different users, one for individuals and another for businesses. The individual plan, Gemini Advance, requires a subscription and includes features like Ultra. The model powering Advance is the regular chatbot. Moreover, it offers integration with Gmail Docs and other enhancements, constituting the new additions to this plan. If you're already subscribed to this plan, check your Gmail to confirm access. Alternatively, for business users using Google Workspace, plans start at $6, granting access to Docs and Gmail Slides. The Workspace version of this AI model, called Gemini Business, offers additional features like Gemini 1.0 Ultra. It seems the most advanced models are reserved for business, enterprise, or paid individual subscription. Three plans are available with the enterprise option starting at $30 per month based on one-year commitment, but it can be as low as $24 per month with a discount. I have been experimenting with a different workspace and can help you sign up. Upgrading provides enterprise-grade security and privacy, and your data inside these models is at use for training. The enhanced security features, especially for business and enterprise users, can be a significant factor for many, often leading to hesitation before adoption. This update offers considerable value, particularly for enterprise subscribers who will likely have additional exclusive features beyond those in the business plan. Clicking Get Started directs you to a page where you log in to your Google Workspace account. To proceed, you need to have a pre-existing Workspace subscription, Starting at $6, if you are not the Workspace admin, you will need their permission or assistance. Since I set up this Workspace for my small business, click here to explore more Gemini services for Workspace. And this is exactly where I could upgrade. I will show you this in action, but if you want to take a moment to read through it, it essentially outlines all the benefits you receive. The Ultra plan appears to be available soon, but I already have access to Gemini with the advanced plan inside of my personal account. Now that we are all set up, let me show a demo of the various apps that we have to access to. I will start with Gmail, which is probably the app that most people use after Google.com. And now, to assist me in writing, let us click this little pin icon over here. This is the AI model or Gemini model that runs inside of Gmail. Incidentally, I used to have something called Duet AI that accomplished the same thing. However, Duet AI is no longer available, so going forward, Everything will be referred to as Gemini. I will go ahead and fill in this prompt because I have used it in regular Gemini before and I really like the way it worked there. A colleague emailed you in frustration regarding a project that was delayed and you responded by acknowledging their concerns, providing a solution-focused approach and maintaining a professional but reasonable tone. It sounds like you are quite pleased with the tone and content, which is great. If you want to refine it further or if you'd like to see an elaborated version, just let me know. I can adjust the tone to be more formal if needed or expand on the content as required. If you are satisfied with the current version and only need minor adjustments, we can go ahead and finalize it. Now, let us take a look at Google Docs, which is my favorite app. I have all of my scripts here, so let us see what we get. First, when you open a new document, this untitled doc helps me write. If you click on it, or if some reason you don't see it, you can always get this little pen icon here to click on it. Alternatively, you can right click and help me write this way as well. This is a good use case. Let us see how current this is. I am going to ask it to explain what Google Gemini business plan is. He basically outlined it for me, but he missed some details because it combines the premium model of Gemini with a paid advanced subscription. Some of the features of Gemini are included in this prompt which you shouldn't do. Instead, you should provide much more context. As a matter of fact, your first draft is actually a lot more usable. However, I always like to test things with simply these prompts that have no context. That way, I just sort of get a nice sense. I mean, I gave it some context. I said a paragraph, but it completely ignored that. I am going to ask for some marketing copy for my e-learning platform, Skilllef to see if it could be a little bit more creative. Not bad. It actually formatted it in a pretty legit looking marketing plan with an executive summary target audience. It determined this target audience based on the few words I use in my prompt and it is accurate. 
I normally use this prompt since I am more familiar with my business than with a kind of fictitious one, so I can assess it fairly fast. The $50,000 marketing budget that was suggested seemed kind of strange. Is it for monthly or annual use? Though, I'm not sure if this lead generation is truly that fantastic. He's done a respectable job of getting comparable results from Gemini and chatting GPT outside of Google Doc. But I like this one, so let me include this now. We have a tiny template here that we could work with. And let me try to improve this text selection. If I right-click, refine, I can choose a text and see that I can alter the tone, summarize, and convert it into a bullet point. What is this custom here? Oh, I see. I suppose you could enter it in your own prompt here. This is actually one of my favorite features so far that I can choose any text. For example, if I want to choose a text and then refine it by right-clicking on it, I can go ahead and elaborate or we can just summarize everything. All right, let us turn it into a poem. It is actually not that bad as I read through this poem here. Kind of long, but pretty cool. This has been really stable so far. When I was using Copilot Pro to make a Copilot Pro video, I had some trouble, so I think that got released a little bit in beta. Now that I have got it into a paragraph, I can turn bullet points to the paragraph. I can also refine this even within the generation box before I press insert. Now, let's have a look at Sheets. Firstly, the functionality inside Google Sheets is now pretty restricted, and finding it took me about 20 minutes the first time around because there was no obvious button to hit to open Gemini. This is their AI option, a prompt box that generates custom templates. I will demonstrate with an example. Currently, there are limitations beyond this. I expect it to become a major focus when Gemini is fully integrated into Sheets, given its powerful capabilities. However, currently, selecting columns doesn't trigger any action. To make a personal budget template, click the Create button. It takes about 7 seconds to generate. Then, you'll find it under the Income Expenses section. I tested it out using Google Duet AI. Currently, it seems limited to this Help Me Organize option for templates. I have not found any other options, and it is just a small icon, so Sheets isn't heavily promoting it. Let me try creating a PNL template by pressing X. Not bad. It includes the month, revenue, gross profit, and net income. Let us explore Google Slides for making presentations. When you start a new slideshow, look for a small icon that appears. This icon lets you create images with Gemini, so click on it. However, the options for creating slideshows are still quite limited. Many businesses rely on artificial intelligence to create presentations more efficiently. I have discovered that you can create Gemini images here and add them to your slideshow. However, there are limitations with images involving people like five people at an office, which Gemini's website says it can't do. Still, this feature adds style and simplicity without needing to include that in your prompt. Gemini is still improving its image creation, including on websites and slides. For now, you can choose the photo option if needed. In Google Meets, you can create backgrounds by clicking the three dots and applying visual effects. Personally, I prefer this over using slides because backgrounds might have imperfections, but it is not a big deal. When you select Generate Background, you will see a prompt box like in slides, but without any issues. I went further in, and the background isn't too bad. When I tested it first, it worked well, except for one thing. It couldn't make images of people, which I already knew from using Gemini. My favorite part was what it could do in Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Limited, but helpful during meetings. And it is great that we can use it in our business accounts now, not just personal ones. And that is Google's massive update. Gemini comes to Workspace, Gmail, Docs, Sheets, Slides. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.